Well, this video is actually a reaction to a discussion of an animated disco, One Piece. No one's ever heard of it. But, hey, it has been going for a long amount of time. And that is pretty obvious from the fact that I'm reacting to episode 1012. The reaction is now going to commence. Okay, your old man is doing stuff. Yamato. You really have gotten probably all of your looks from your mother. Then again, I've never seen her, so I don't know. Maybe the girl that Sanji is dealing with is the mother of Yamato. Maybe she's in Toby Ropo, former member of the White Bear Pirates. Former? Come on, Chopper. Oh yeah, it will take you time to produce one. Hmm. Yeah, there he is. What's happening? Come on, guys. Chill out. He is helping you. Yeah, come on, guys. What? Oh. A nurse? Doctor? Okay, yeah, everyone needs warmth, so... Ooh, that's so cool. Oh yeah, it's a good thing your flame actually you can control it. Oh, you can talk? Oh. Wow! Yeah, I really thought about it, but Marcus Fruit is overpowered for this. He can really hold this infection himself. That's so convenient. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I don't remember them. They definitely have been seen before, right? But I don't remember them. Okay. That's good. Yeah, Marco is really hot at this whole situation by himself. Well, I suppose if you don't do it for the enemies, then everyone loses either way, so yeah. Come on, you can just say his name. Come on, guys. It's Chopper. It's not difficult. It's not like others. They really shouldn't listen to you. You almost... You wanted to doom them all. I mean, you wanted to take them down anyway. As soon as hurry up. Oh. Okay, that does complicate things annoyingly, so... Okay. Okay, so everyone else is gonna go on ahead and help Kaido. Still, I feel like one of you should stick here. You're irrelevant. Why do you exist? His life. Shocking and disappointing. Yeah, come on. Come on, Chopper. You really are the only one that can do this, actually. Drake, former member of Tobiropo. <laughs> yes, come on, guys. You should have figured that out. Also, he's an Allosaur? I, I always thought he was a Rex. I don't know why. I mean, I guess that's how he got introduced, maybe. I don't know. Oh yeah, they mentioned it. He actually did awaken observation hacky for that. God, I love it. Please. Alright. Headliners. Oh, these are actually proper users? Shmen Karate? Okay, they are all artificial zones. I've never seen a decently powerful artificial zone. Okay. Haki? Do you have conquerors as well? Why, Jimbei? Oh. Is this a head performer? Okay, Jimbe actually will have a proper fight, that's good to know. Uh Frankie's fighting one of Frankie's fighting one of the Tobiropo members, I remember that. We know that all Tobiropo for now are ancient zones. Okay, he teleported in front of everyone and saved them. Ooh. Oh he's a trike! <laughs> yep. A member of Tobiropo? Triceratops model. Ah no, not really. But hey. It's a pretty tough one. <laughs> Rampart. What's happening? Oh, two more of Tobiropo. <laughs> okay. The baboon, is it alive? Yeah, please. The baboon, sure, it's awesome against Fodder, but against them, it should be destroyed. Three minutes. That fruit is actually messed up, though. It completely controls the creature. Did the monkey use Haki? Can animals use Haki? I can't remember, wait, no, no, I don't think they can. I mean, animals, technically humans are animals, and also there is clearly enough the, the minx, but, eh, I don't know. Poor monkey, I don't feel bad about it, though. It's a monkey, come on. Or ape. Actually, this might have been a monkey. Is it alive? But, uh, let's just finish off, especially characters like this, come on. Howdy. What are you doing, Yamato? Call me Odin or... I will not make the joke. It was obvious. No, what, what? How did Ace... How did you fight Ace though? I can accept that you were weaker, but... Yeah. Seems like we're getting an Ace Fox episode in the next one. Hmm. That would be interesting. Okay. I'm actually quite intrigued by that. Well, I will not make much of a discussion about this one mostly because I've been recording for two hours, many other reactions, and yeah. Uh, it's just a recording day today, so... Obviously, you know, whenever I get to the last reaction of the day, I feel not in the mood to talk much about it, but let's just generally speak a little bit. So, obviously, enough, next time we'll get a little more on the relationship between Yamato and Ace, 
Uh, in this one, we got to see Marco doing the thing I always say and I thought he's gonna do. He's overpowered for this situation. That's inaccurate. Mythical zones are overpowered all the time, except Orochis, because Orochis is an idiot and didn't use it. But uh, Mythical zones are overpowered all the time. So, yeah, it was obvious that he's gonna be overpowered, but in this situation, Marco is super broken, because obviously he can hold this entire disease solo. Obviously enough, he's also gonna bring everyone up, while Drake is protecting ev protecting everyone in on this floor so that they can go on ahead and be killed by Chopper. Everything makes sense, I'm satisfied with that part of the storyline. Thing is though, I don't really want to see anything else except a queen fight in that floor. I feel like everything is kinda of resolved there. A pool... Sure, sure, you can show me Drake destroying a pool, hopefully killing him. Yeah. I'm sad I'm saying that I want a pool to die. But I thought that I've never liked him. I never have. I never will. Never. I don't want redemption, redemption for a pool. Just take him down. Maybe, maybe, maybe just, uh, I don't know. Uh, tear his throat out, throat out so that he can never speak again. That could improve his character drastically. Maybe I don't want him to die. Maybe this would be a better option. But we'll see. Point is though, I think I think everything except Queen is kind of solved on that floor. So uh, unless someone goes on ahead and fights Queen directly, I don't care about anything on that floor. Which would lead to Marco bringing uh, Brook, uh, Robin, Zoro, and I believe that's sad because Chopper will be on the obviously in you know, the cure to Kaido, and those four are gonna be fight four or three. I mean, I assume Marco is gonna fight with them so. Yeah, I think it's four, right? Uh, Robin, Marco, Zoro, and Brook four. Yeah, four of them fighting Kaido. I think that would be cool to see. Obviously, enough. Some of the samurai is still up, still up there, and Marco can heal them with his flames. So yeah, I think the fight can definitely continue on going. Uh, continue on going. Uh, continue. Fight stuff. I don't know. But yeah, the fight can definitely be interesting, especially since Luffy is rushing. And fun fact. Uh, Jinpei was actually stopped by someone who can actually be a proper, proper, proper zone user. He seemed like to have an interesting animal though, so maybe he's a mythical zone user, which would be cool. It would be cool to actually have a proper mythical zone user on Kairos team. And it obviously enough would be definitely a challenge for someone like Jinpei. And I am glad that there are more than three people in Kairos entire crew that can do something. And yeah, I know, Tobiropo, sure, but Tobiropo haven't gotten the opportunity to do much except Ulti. We all know that page one has been wrecked by literally everything. I don't know, I don't know, I do not know. I want to feel the power of uh, the Animal Kingdom Pirates more. Because honestly, it feels kind of underwhelming. I accept Kaido, let's be honest, Kaido does not, Kaido is a monster, but that's fair enough. Everyone else, so it really feels like they're kind of easy picking, in a way, I know they're constantly saying they're strong, so on and so forth, they really aren't showing it to me. At least I feel like I've not been, I've not seen that they're that strong. Obviously, if we're comparing them to the past, sure. I'm, I'm kind of mostly talking about now, though, in standards of strength. Now, I don't feel like they're that insanely powerful. But that is mostly because we still haven't gotten the opportunity to see a lot of them fight, except the weaker ones. But the headliners, worthless. Uh, no, wait, wait, what was it? Head performers are the three main ones. Headliners are just important guys, right? The Like the ones with the snakes or the giraffe or the rooster that got one shot at those worthless guys. So Tobiropu, the headliners, uh, there is the kid that is a flying squirrel but also can control any other animals, which is interesting. Now there's the guy that is going to fight Jinpei. So I, I do think it's interesting. We'll see where things are going to go. I am excited to see how that fight is going to go. Obviously, if we learn that uh, one of the Toby Robo members is actually a trike, which is good. Frankie has a decent fight to do. That's nice. And uh, anything else that was really shown in this episode? Uh, except uh, except the fact that Yamato wants to be referred to as father. <laughs> no, not really anything else you can think about. But hey. Uh... <laughs> Yamato. Yamato is something. Yeah, yeah, Yamato is something. But hey, I had a lot of fun and I'm looking forward towards the next one. For now, this is it. Is there too much on there? And bye.